Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just finished teaching my audio for film class at the college and I realized that there's a few things that students tend to need clarification on and so I figured for this week and next week I would cover these two main topics that I'm thinking of that students tend to, I guess, mess up but really just need clarification on. So the first topic, which is what we're going to talk about today, is going to be file management in Pro Tools. So I went ahead and created this example session here. There's nothing in it yet, but I just kind of wanted to talk about the file structure in Pro Tools and the different items and subfolders within our main session folder. I have this example session folder on the desktop, and this is the folder that Pro Tools creates when you create a new session. So this is your session folder. And so the thing that a lot of students starting out tend to get wrong is they think they can just move this session file to a different computer to work on their session. But what you need to do is actually move the entire folder here. So this entire session folder is what should go with you whenever you move to a new computer. And that also goes for backing up your session. If you wanna back up your session, you need to back up this entire folder, right? So Pro Tools will auto-generate different folders within this main session folder, and it kind of depends on what you're doing within your session. Um, for example, if I don't import a video, I believe it will then close out this video file folder. So some of these folders only exist while the session is open, on the off chance that I would then use or create whatever will go into that folder. So in your session, you might actually have more folders than what you're seeing here. So for example, sometimes we'll get rendered files folders. And so that's like if we're using something like Elastic Audio and we're creating rendered files, it can go into that rendered files folder. So pretty much every session though is gonna have a session file backups. And this is just where Pro Tools puts our auto backups, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Every session is also gonna have the .ptx file. So that's similar to, for example, our .doc or .docx files that we then use to open up a Word document, right? It's our actual session file. So this is what you can click to actually open up your session. We also have a wave cache file, so you can literally delete this and it's not gonna mess with your actual session. The only difference is that you're, when you first open up your session, it's gonna open a little bit slower. So the wave cache file basically just stores data on where you were within the session, stuff like that, so that you can then open that session faster. So that's all it does. You can literally delete it and it's not gonna hurt anything. And then pretty much every session is gonna have an audio files folder. And so this is where you want all your audio files to go. And so sometimes when we import audio, I'll show you guys this in a minute, but sometimes when we import audio, Pro Tools will just reference the audio file from wherever it exists. And so then if you were to then move the session, move this whole session folder, if you don't have your audio files in your audio files folder, you're gonna then have missing media. And that's a problem. So what I like to tell my students is to follow the process, which I'll show you guys here in a minute, on how to import audio correctly so that all of our audio files are in this audio files folder. It makes it a bigger session folder, obviously, right? There's more data in there. But then if you need to move your session, you have everything that you need. And the same thing goes for things like video files. So the video files folder, if you import a video into Pro Tools, you wanna double check that it got copied over into that video files folder. So I actually recommend to my students that they copy the video file over into the video files folder before they even import the video. And then you know that you have that video in there in your main session folder for when you move to a different computer, you move to different studios, or when they hand in the project to me, right? And then you might have the clip groups folder, you might have the rendered files folder. There's a few different folders that can pop up here depending on what you're actually doing in Pro Tools. Um, sometimes we get MIDI files, stuff like that. But the other thing that tends to pop up all the time is gonna be the bounced files folder. Um, and this didn't used to be a thing, but now it is. I think it's pretty cool. So basically, whenever we bounce out a mix, um, I do recommend that you just put it in the bounce files folder because that's what that's for, right? So it's pretty nice that they have that there now. Yeah, so the big takeaway here that I see people that are just starting out with Pro Tools really needing is the idea that you move this entire session folder. So this main folder here, you need to move that entire session. If you back up your session or if you move to a different studio or anything like that, you want to bring this entire session folder. So if you were to just move your PTX file, for example, you would then go to open up your session and you're not going to have any of your audio files, any of your video files, any of your media. And so you're going to have a really beautiful session, but it's going to be full of empty clips and you're going to have basically nothing there. So you really want to make sure that you move this whole session folder. So yeah, so that's one aspect of file management in Pro Tools. So yeah, the other aspect of file management in Pro Tools that I wanted to talk about is how to import audio correctly so that when you then go to move your session, all of your audio files will be in this folder. So there are two main ways that I recommend importing audio, and I'm not gonna go over like every detail of importing audio here. I believe I might've gone over it in another video, 
Um, I'll see if I can find that and put a card up on the screen for you guys to see that video. But basically, I'm going to go Command Shift I to import audio. And then I'm going to find an audio file to import, right? So I just dropped this percussion T file onto my desktop so I can use this file as an example. So basically what you want to do to make sure that your audio file is in that audio files folder is when you go to choose your files here to import into Pro Tools, you want to make sure you hit copy or convert. Whatever is down here where it says copy or convert, you want to choose that option. You don't want to choose add. So if you choose add, what's going to happen is it's going to add the file to your session, but it's going to leave the file wherever it is. So for example, it's on my desktop here it's not gonna be in the session folder. So then when I go to move the session folder, I'm not gonna have that percussion two file and it's gonna be a missing audio file. So basically you just wanna make sure that you hit convert or copy. So if the file actually matches your session parameters here, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have the option to add and you just wanna avoid that option. I never use the add option ever, ever, ever. And I mean, there are some advantages to using the add option. If you're only working on one computer and you're never gonna move that session file, you're never gonna move that session elsewhere, then you might wanna just choose to leave it as an add because then you're, you're not duplicating the audio within your system. And that saves disk space. But it's like nowadays, computers have tons of disk space. So I don't really worry about that so much as keeping all my audio files within my session so that I can move around. So basically, what you're going to do is hit this convert or copy option, right? Every single time, make sure you choose that option and then import. And it's going to ask you where to put it. The default is to put it in your audio files folder. So I recommend just leaving it at that and hitting open. And I'm just going to leave this in my clip list. But yeah, so if you choose that copy or convert option, whenever you then go to move your session, you will know that your audio files have been copied into this audio files folder. So you're all good. You don't have to go and check every single audio file that you imported and make sure that it's within your folder instead of outside of that folder, right? So that's one way to import audio to make sure it gets copied over. But another way to import audio in Pro Tools, and my students love using this method, I use this method now, is you can just drag and drop it into the clip list. So that's pretty cool, right? And so now it's in my session. So I literally just updated to Pro Tools 2019 this morning. And so it looks like I just dragged my audio file in and actually copied it into the audio files folder for me. So that's great. I love that. But if you're working in a previous version of Pro Tools, the default was not to have the audio file copy over into your audio files folder. So if you're working in an older version of Pro Tools, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you hold option and then click and drag when you import your audio. And that'll make sure that it copies it into the audio files folder here for you. So if you're working in an older version of Pro Tools, just hold option and drag it in, and then you'll be all good. And if you're not sure how your version of Pro Tools works, what I would do is just find an audio file, drag it into a clip list, and then see if it copies over here into your audio files folder. But basically what you wanna do is however you're importing any kind of media, so audio or video, you just wanna confirm that it's being copied over into one of these subfolders within our session folder. So yeah, that's basically it. I know it sounds really simple, and some of you guys that are more used to Pro Tools are gonna be probably wondering why I feel the need to go over this, but you'd be surprised at how often I see people that are just starting out in Pro Tools making this mistake, doing things like copying over the PTX file and not the whole session file. And you know, sometimes people need to have that explained more thoroughly or have it explained multiple times before they really get the idea that you have to move this whole session folder and you have to make sure that your audio files, however you're importing them, are actually being copied over into the audio files folder. Because I have almost every single class that I have, I have somebody trying to move just the PTX file with nothing else, even though I've already said not to do that. And almost every single class, I also see people um, handing in projects that are then missing audio files. So I just thought I'd do a little more in-depth explanation here on my YouTube channel. Just for anyone else that's out there that's just starting out in Pro Tools and wants to make sure that they have good habits here for, for keeping their sessions intact. And then also, you know, if you're backing up your sessions, all this stuff applies as well, you know? So if you don't have good habits with this file management stuff, you might be backing up your session files but not realize that you're missing critical parts of those sessions. And then if you wanna go reference those later on, you know, a year from now, a couple months from now, whenever it is, you're gonna be missing stuff, right? So this is really important, it's really critical, even if you're not moving from computer to computer. 
So yeah, I hope someone finds this video useful. I hope this helps you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the little notification bell if you wanna be notified when I come out with a new video. And if you wanna support this channel more directly, I do have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash noise. And if you become a patron, you do get access to additional information. And I'm always working to add things to that as well. So it's a growing list of things that you get access to. So yeah, that's about it, guys. So I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you for watching. Okay.